five o'clock in the morning in Phoenix and let's hit the road to Long Beach. Today's trek is about 400 miles, so I'm starting out at 589, 847. Look, do you love how Half of my gauge cluster lights are burned out. <laughs> At least I can see them. Anyway, let's get on the road. starting to become a very familiar destination. There we are at American Honda headquarters. So this is interesting. Coming into the lobby today, they have the ZDX on display. So the last time I was in here, uh, the space had not been formally revealed yet. It was sort of um, staged for the most part, but not entirely uh, finalized. In fact, this space here with this TV where these bikes are, that was all still under heavy construction. So it's kind of cool to see the finished product here. I know uh, Carl Poli and a number of associates worked really hard to get this pulled together and they did a masterful job. I'm looking forward to seeing this area over here. Uh, one of the things that didn't show up very much in the press release and other info was uh, this space. So this, if you remember when American Honda got its start on Pico Boulevard, it was a really simple storefront and um, had this kind of signage. So uh, here I'm checking this out for the first time and who do I run into? There's my friend Jerry. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So as I, right when I walked in here, I recognized my friend Jerry across the hallway from Kentucky of all places. So he showed up to the legend meet last month in a third gen TL manual. And I uh, was here with his family. He's been visiting Southern California for a week. So we caught up for a second, but back to the uh, preview here or uh, another look at the museum. So they did add some of these wire cables in front of the cars, as well as some cool signage. Not that these cars need any kind of introduction for a long time enthusiast, but it's cool to see some of the background. And it'll be fun to watch what the evolution for this space is in terms of what vehicles the team decides to pull out next. Cause um, I know having been to the other previous quote unquote secret museum, Honda has a good number of cars that aren't seen here that are under lock and key elsewhere on the property. One thing I failed to recognize is that pretty much everything with an engine gets appreciation in here, including the HHT 35 SUKAT trimmer, which came to the lineup in 1997. You could do some serious yard work with that thing. Nice looking GCV 200 lawnmower too. I need to up my yard care game. You'll never see another Integra Type S with this treatment. So right off the bat, your eyes go to the contrast black and white theme here with the black wrapped roof, the door handles, and of course those optional wheels. This belongs to none other than the man himself, Mr. Rivers, who basically built this car on paper and now owns one himself. So you know somebody believes in their product when they actually buy one. So this car is sweet. Had to make a purchase here. So there is a scale model of the Integra here that I bought from the Honda store at the main office. In good company here with a Long Beach Blue NSX. I'm not gonna tie up Honda's driveway here, but this was the actual uh, location where we did the Drive to Five celebration in 20. 11 it was november 4th so coming up on 12 years ago 
and hard to believe it's been that long, but not much has changed with, with the campus since then. Looks largely the same. That's where my banner was right above there. My friend Scott just arrived from Palm Springs this morning. We're gonna roll over to the car show together, but it's kind of fun to see the twins nose to nose here. Now his is the same year, same color, same trim, Desert Mist Metallic 94 LS. Difference being his is an automatic transmission and it has about half the miles on it. Now the fun part, we get to wait for roll in and uh, staging here. So as long as Scott and I are in tandem, we should be able to park together. We are pretty well set up here, just doing some last minute detail work on the legends. And meanwhile, as we've been sitting here, there were a couple more that rolled in. You'll recognize some of these cars from the forums and Facebook groups, but uh, super fun to see the, the continued appreciation for this model. Also a very strong third gen prelude turnout. You've heard of a Chevy SS, but what about a SSS? Let's give a little uh, shout out to Andrew here and his 86 Prelude SI. So this is Phoenix Red, which is one of my favorite colors, obviously. We're partial to that, but he just gave me some insider info here. This is actually his wife at age 18. She had a Prelude in the same color. And then this is Andrew himself in a press car that he attempted to purchase from Honda at some later date unsuccessfully. So you could say that this car is his dream come true however many decades later. This is Wanda. Is that true mileage? Yes. 850? As true as the odometer. Was. Right. Holy cow. Yeah. Now I'm really intrigued. Uh, and you've had it since it was new from San Luis Obispo. Yeah, actually I was looking at this. The uh, port of entry is Long Beach, so it's actually- Oh, it's coming back home. home, yeah. Unbelievable, look at this car. And you had the paint refinished? Yeah, it's been repainted. Well, look at the interior on this thing, and here's the money shot. 860? How is that even possible? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, you're in my same boat. So I have a the Acura Legend over there with 590. So you you pass. It's a champagne colored coupe. Down. There's a very customized Legend. I love the mirror window tint, but this is a nice uh, executive JDM style motif. Even got the special edition floor mats in there. I noticed the brochure open up and that tray table. Pretty cool stuff. The type E interior like mine, but I'm sure that this exterior is some sort of custom shade. Great color though. Welcome to JCCS 2023 here at the Marina. So last time I was at JCCS was at the Anaheim Stadium. So good to have the community back here. You guys recognize Rob, all my legend followers know Rob. He is a legend in the community. Let's take a look at his LS sedan because I'm here to tell you there's some treats, some tricks up its sleeve that weren't here last time. So here we go. I've been correct, it's an L sedan, but first and foremost, this car is unmistakable because of its stance and sort of suspension setup. So Rob, start from the back. Let's go into the detail here. All right. so. I chose an L so I can kind of hack into it a little bit, you know, without feeling too bad. If I had a GS, I probably wouldn't be doing too much. But, you know, I, I love to customize things. Um, if you don't know already, this is a, an admiration kit. This is a one. Right now, it's, it's the only one on a legend. I'm not the first guy who had it. Uh, guy in, guy in, um, Hawaii used to have one, um, but I visited my mother in uh, the Philippines uh, last November and I was really inspired by the landscape uh, and, and just everything about it. So I wanted to do touches from the motherland. So I brought back a few things, the cafe shell, tissue box, little details. So these pillows are actually weaved from an uh, indigenous tribe in the Philippines, specifically where my mother's from uh, in that region of Manila. Uh, got the little like coaster with the sea foam. That's Filipino alcohol rum here. Just some little touches. Like, yeah, the, the shirt's awesome. Keys. 
Your moment of reckoning has come, Mike. I'm ready for the front to back, the inside and out. And you, you must absolutely do something with Devin's car. You must. Well, pop the gas door first. Uh, I knew this was coming. <laughs> You've been preparing for this moment. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Devin, this was uh, just an SI that you four-wheel steered it, yes. right? So, all right. I had uh, done a four-wheel steering conversion off of a failed project. And uh, so I took that four-wheel steering conversion out. It's actually really straightforward to do. Uh, the only real modification of the car you had to make was to trim a bracket in the trunk, underneath the trunk. Right. Aside from that, it's just bolt in and uh, hook up the steering line. I believe the pump is different. The main pump is different from the two-wheel steering, four-wheel steering. Yep. Uh, the internals of it. Uh, but I had changed that out at some point. Yeah. Too. And there's your, uh, so, so he says, completely ruined. I don't know if we agree so with that. So this is a playoff of uh, my history with this car. I've had this car since 2001. And back then, no one was really modifying these cars until 2003, 2004. So my car was considered trash back then because it was all stock. Right. Well, now my car is considered trash because it's modified. <laughs> you can't win. No, exactly. <laughs> I use, I use headphones. NSX lineup here, including an NSX R. There's a very clean, extremely clean 87 Camry. Some of the automakers also bring out newer vehicles. Here we have a new Tacoma next to an older Toyota pickup for comparison purposes. My friend Collins, very clean second gen Integra. 071-816-071. Do a quick walk around on the cars before things kind of start to conclude here. The awards ceremony will start about 3 o'clock and then we should be out of here by 3.30 or so. But I put my low mileage sticker up, got the interior on display. These are my show only floor mats. Those don't really come out in hibernation until there's a special event. But everything else is just pretty much like you've already seen it. I have those new Michelin tires installed that I recently added from a video just a while back. And there's a few things to address. A couple of people called me out on this gap in the dash where I lost a clip on a recent trip. So there's always a list of needs with this car. It's 30 years old. This car actually, yeah, 30 years old as of this month. So happy birthday. And there's Scott's car. I think his interior is mostly original. It's got super nice carpeting, seats, and dash. This car originated in the Seattle area, so all the rubber and vinyl trim is super well preserved. And his odometer shows 204,650. Gotta give some appreciation for the 90 Civic Wagon. The two-wheel drive, this is my friend Roby, so he was actually helping with the roll-in this morning when we all kind of uh, made our entrance here and this is a true survivor he picked it up uh, New Year's uh, well I guess almost exactly a year ago coming up and look at how original the beautiful upholstery 130,000 miles and these are such cool cars just because they're so versatile you've got all that cargo space in the back and a five-door hatch sort of format 21.5 cubic feet to be exact Got to talk about that durable tweed fabric too, yeah. but Roby's awesome. Like I said, he's been volunteering with JCCS today. Was up super early to be part of this show. 
and it really does take a whole team of volunteers to bring this together. Uh, 208 second place, Evan Poole, 1985 Celica Supra. Andrew's got a well-deserved award here. Second place with the prelude. Nice, and Chris with another prelude, taking first place. <laughs> Just finished up the awards and it's time to start previewing the traffic conditions so I can figure out which way I want to get home. Either way, it's going to be about six hours plus and the 400 miles, so it should be a fun track. That's a wrap on the trip. Final mileage was 590.650. Here's a quick look at some of the stuff I brought home. Uh, it's now the next day. I got home late last night and didn't feel like doing any more filming, but this is my little Integra diecast TSM model that I showed you from the lobby. The coolest part is that I bought it inside the American Honda store. So you can see I'm gonna save my receipt here to be able to buy an Integra directly from Honda, even though it's a scale model version. This is a all Chinese brochure from 2010 model year for Acura that my friend Eric brought me. And huge thanks Eric for that, that's awesome. Uh, this is a mug with all sorts of Honda models around it that my friend Ben gave me. And this one is my paperwork for show registration where I talked about some of the history on the car, the fact that I went to the National Acura Legend Meet in Kentucky. Along with that registration, they give you a sheet of stickers here. Pretty cool. And this one is a little dash, metal dash plaque with a sticky back tape on it. And then Rob gave me this magazine. It was uh, all Japanese, but it's coverage of the 2019 JCCS and that was the year I had my Del Sol. So you can see, this will focus, my little green Del Sol there in the background of that picture. I uh, later sold that car to a collector friend of mine in New Jersey, Michael. If you happen to see this video, I hope you're having fun with my little uh, Skittle. Anyway, that's my JCCS 2023 swag.